Hello everybody, it's me, Nazar, or you can call me Nas, whichever uh, tickles your pickle, uh, as they say. But uh, here we go, we have a new uh, addition to the old collection here, and uh, we're trying to show you a better view of it. So uh, I'd rather have it here. Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, Nazar here, or you can call me Naz, whatever it may be. Uh, here we go, we're doing another review here. And this is something I found the other day. I um, uh, saw this, somebody reviewed it, and I never heard of this company before. This is a diecast team, uh, you know, okay. And um, this cost me like ten dollars shipped um so yeah i was like okay uh sounds good to me so uh there you go let's have a closer look here this is uh i don't know for some reason we're not focusing here because we don't like to that's how things are these days we just don't like to focus <laughs> but uh yeah diecast team dct um anyway uh, let's let's just open it and see what this thing's all about because uh, I don't know much about it other than I thought it was cool that these are not expensive. Uh, they come in all the colors of the rainbow, uh, but only two of them uh, have the Maserati um, logo right there on the side like that. So uh, I forget what the other one was wait it's taped on this side but not on this side that's that's strange but all right uh okay wow that is yeah so when you're opening that keep in mind that's that's what's gonna happen it's ridiculous <laughs> this was eight bucks um yeah so i said ten bucks because like with shipping it ended up being oh right around ten dollars so um but anyway i mean the box is pretty sweet you got the little like blueprint style you know outline of the thing uh so here we go wow uh, that's my first impression as well uh, that's plastic base but it's okay let's uh, zoom in here a little bit so here we go we have plastic base. It, uh, I don't know. I, I guess I could unscrew this for you guys if you want. But first, let's take a look at this. The detail is amazing. You have translucent plastic headlights, which is great. I don't really. I don't see like the plug. It's not getting in the way. Wow, the uh, the grill is actually very clean, very nicely uh, detailed. You have your Maserati badge right on the front here, which is legible. The green color is fantastic, dude. Wow, for 10 bucks, man? Shipped? Anyway, so yeah, uh, if you wanna see all the other colors, uh, I'm just gonna shout them out. I, I don't really care, man. He probably doesn't even know that I'm shouting them out, but uh, um, 64, die cast uh so yeah check them out there's there's your little logo right there um he bought a whole bunch of these uh a long time ago and uh that's the, the only way i heard about these is because of his video uh other than that i would never have even heard about this uh gran turismo racing something look how legible like how clean is that logo can I get even closer? Let me see. Holy crap. All right. <laughs> I can't really make out what it says under the Gran Turismo. But uh, that's cool. But yeah, um, check check out this channel if you want to see all the other colors. Um, I got this one because I really like this green. And I love the, uh, the Trident, uh, Maserati Trident on the side there. Uh, yeah, so red translucent taillights as well. 
I love how the exhaust pipes are coming out through these little holes here. That's a fantastic little detail. Look at that. So yeah, I'm not necessarily a huge Maserati fan, but I do love their designs. Um, I'm told that they're not like that reliable and the real cars de depreciate almost instantly as soon as you buy them. Uh, you know, I, I'm not out to buy the real car. Uh, I'm buying this because I love the design of this car. I love how pre pretty it is. <laughs> That's why I bought this. Also because it was uh, 10 bucks. Let's see. Ooh, the mirrors are plastic. Man, you guys know me. Uh, that's a huge win. This thing has like nothing but pluses for me. Like, the wheels are nice. They are rubber. They're like a hard rubber, but still rubber. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they're rubber. Um, yeah, plastic mirrors, man. They're not gonna droop and get all soggy in a couple of years. Bro, alright guys, well, I, I highly recommend this uh, little company, man. Freaking 10 bucks, like, Hot Wheels got nothing on this. <laughs> alright, I'm gonna freaking, I'm gonna unscrew this thing. Let's let's see what's in there. Let's have a look-see. I've been watching a couple of reviewers doing this, and I was like, that's a great idea, man. Why not take it apart and see what's uh, what's in the guts, yo? So yeah, good thing I have my uh, my felt cloth here today. I wasn't planning on taking this apart, to be honest with you. But having those screws there, it just seems so simple. Let's hope that I'll be able to put it back together. <laughs> okay, hold on a second. My apologies, somebody was at the door. The freaking camera kept telling me, like, someone's at the front door. I'm like, okay, okay. God. Oh yeah, because the tail lights, uh, I mean the exhaust pipes go through those little holes. You have to be careful here. There we go. Look at that. They actually do go all the way through. Okay. Then we have, okay, that's the little like nipple there to uh, hold the exhaust pipe in. So the exhaust pipe is a separate mold. How cool is that? Man, this thing just keeps impressing, man. Alright, let's put let's put the screws and stuff over there. Let's zoom out a little bit. How about that? <laughs> okay, so there's your uh I'm not sure why my camera is acting weird with the weird camera switching. Alright, let's use my little pokey thing here. There we go. Alright. Wow, something I did not see through the uh, windows is the little bit of detail on the seats. Oh! There's like an actual... Let's see if we can close... Zoom in here. Look, there's Maserati logo that's legible on the steering wheel. The screen has some kind of... I think it's the Maserati logo also. I can't really make that out. But they really did not need to do that, but they did. That is so cool. And yeah, the front seats are separate molds. Look at that. See? They're molded in. So that's, wow. So if, if this company right here, uh, Diecast team, if they can make this amazing, look at that, separate side, uh, side windows and separate uh, front and back, also separate. And there's a mold for a freaking rear view, rear view mirror right there. So that's my question. Um, if any of you are smart assy enough, <laughs> I say that with, with love. Um, if this can come out like this with beautiful paint, all these parts, all these uh, amazing details, the interior detail, all of this not shipped for like six, seven bucks. 
seven dollars is the price of a Hot Wheel, uh, premium Hot Wheels car. So, uh, rubber wheels, rims are also separately, um, you know. There's no disc brakes or calipers, but I really don't care about that, honestly, at this point. <laughs> so, like, what's going on with that Hot Wheels? Um, I mean, multi-million dollar company should be able to step up a little bit, you know? I mean, some of the premiums don't even have side mirrors, which is, these are separately molded and then placed in here at an assembly. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Mattel, what's going on, man? Uh, you got wheel wells. What's going on, Mattel? Why can't you, uh, why can't you do this? This is, um, you know, I'm sorry, love me or hate me, but this is, I mean, drilled holes right in there in the casting for exhaust pipes. That, that they did not, they did not need to do that, but they did. Okay, let's see. Just want to make sure I get that in there without breaking anything. Okay. What an amazing attention to detail, and yeah. So yeah, uh, that's that's my question, guys. What's what's going on? Assembly super easy. I mean, as you can see, just a couple of screws, and we're uh, we're good to go. Yeah, all done. Put back together with incredible detail that you can barely even see. Can you see the? Yeah, there you go. You can see the steering wheel, kind of. But yeah, so there you go. That's that's my point uh, right here, everyone. Uh, why can't we have Hot Wheels do better? Um, I mean, I have been noticing a lot of people uh, going away from uh, collecting Hot Wheels in particular. <sighs> yeah, I collect uh, out of box, so... I'm gonna put this so yeah I have been noticing quite a bit I've been doing this for the past three years which I've been cutting down uh, we need you know completely stopped collecting main lines from Hot Wheels but Hot Wheels is what got me started uh, in collecting diecast uh, that and you know my dad with stuff went in Ukraine when I was younger but that was by companies unknown to anyone uh, that probably don't exist anymore but anyway I had Hot Wheels as a child as well uh, but, um, yeah, number 22 green, but this company, diecast team, whatever, uh, you know, who knows about licensing? I'm not a lawyer. I don't know, uh, what's going on here, but, uh, yeah, I, that's why I stopped collecting Hot Wheels, even premiums, uh, other than, uh, the Fast and the Furious, I don't really collect premium Hot Wheels anymore. I have maybe like a couple of BMWs, a couple of, uh, you know, maybe a handful of uh, main lines that I really like that no one else makes, that I wheel swapped. Um, you know, like I have to customize things to make them, you know, <laughs> sorry guys, customize Hot Wheels to make them look more premium and better because the company itself doesn't want to like spend a little bit more money to make it better i mean they sell out every year everything they make gets sold most of what they make gets sold you know what i mean like for hot wheels to make this they would have to sell these for like 25 bucks <laughs> but anyway so uh, yeah I i'm sure there's like all this toxic material on my hands now that's probably why this was made cheaply but uh anyway let me know what your thoughts are guys uh have you switched to collecting other brands and uh you know collector grade brands over hot wheels because of the you know it's quality over quantity to be honest with you why should i fill my walls with uh cheaply made cars you know from hot wheels <sighs> that are cheaply made without any detail uh, which are meant to be toys 
uh, as an adult, I'd rather spend the same amount as a premium Hot Wheel for something like this that looks amazing and impressive. It's beautiful, and there's detail in it, and, you know, it's... I don't know, man. Okay, sorry guys, uh, I'm gonna stop talking. Um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for, uh, you know, listening to my little mini rant here. Just 10 bucks, bro. 10 freaking bucks. All right, all right, I'm out of here, man. Uh, see you guys in the next one. <laughs>